Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. This week, love is in the air as the explorers continue on the romantic route. That's right, Colin. They find themselves a great wild camp spot, explore the largest city on the route, and snuggle up for a cheesy date night in the camper. Good morning. The sky is blue, and we are ready to rock in Dinkles. Blah, 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 blah. And we are ready to rock and roll and go visit the next town, which is Dinklesbo. Not sure if that's pronounced right. Um, it's supposed to be good weather today and for the next couple of days we are going to make the most of it as best as we can. We've had a little bit of a lie-in this morning just because it's a Saturday and we've decided just to, like, I don't know, I think the wine's like affected the way we want to like rock and roll now. Um, <laughs> we always want to be intoxicated, don't we? Oh yeah. Whatever we get hands on. with romance. <laughs> this is our spot last night, but it was quite nice. Um, not too much noise. We've arrived, it took a very short amount of time, even though we did get stuck behind a tractor. Free car park, 10 minute walk to the city. Town, village, I think it's a small one today. As Megs mentioned, the weather's absolutely stunning today and it should continue to be so for the next few hours. So, today's the first day. It's stitched on. Oh. <laughs> Always trying to take your scarf off, but it's stitched on. Well, you never lose it. I might start doing that with you. He doesn't know his teddy, does he? And every wall is getting close, and I don't know what to do. Welcome to Dinkelsbühl. Dinkelsbühl is a medieval town and once an important junction of two trade routes. So we're on the hunt for the city walls, and hopefully, I think we've just about found them. I don't think it's a bridge. Uh, it's a bridge. <laughs> The town is walled and moated in parts, with grand tours at each entrance. It is colourful, vibrant and traditional. We were treated to a performance by the town's brass band under St George's Minster Church. Time to move on to our next destination, but not before admiring the town's bounty of pumpkins, gourds and squash being sold at the site of the road. What's good about the Romantic Route is that the proximity of the towns are all quite close, which means that if you want to, you can do multiple in a day. So we are continuing our journey south and we're heading to Nordlingen. So Meg has just told me that the USP for Nordlingen is that it's actually built inside the hole that was left by a meteor also known as a meteor crater. So we have arrived, we parked the van up in this free little spot here. Just behind us is a paid for motorhome stop, but we won't be using that tonight, will we? No, only three euros though, to be fair, for 24 hours. Not One bad. of the cheaper ones we've seen. So Nordlingen is built inside a meteor crater. And I think this is the best way of uh, demonstrating what we mean. This is the outside and it's all built in that and I think that the walls are all on the outside and I think we can go and have a look at the whole thing and walk along it all. Nordlingen is larger than the previous towns and tends not to be as much of a tourist hotspot. So once again, we're on the hunt to find the city walls and hopefully we're going the right way now. Apparently the city walls here are still entirely um, intact and it's three kilometers around the, the whole of it, I heard. This looks a bit more promising up ahead. So 
I enjoy seeing all the different colours of the houses. I think they look really beautiful. Makes me want to have like a um, like a blue and a turquoise back at home. Something a bit uh, different. A bit like Balamori, but on a more muted palette. After a short walk along the ancient walls, we ventured into the town for a rest and a much needed coffee in the shadow of St George's Church. Cheers, we're just in time for the bell. <laughs> In these small little towns there isn't much to do other than walking around if we're being honest but if you sat out and had lunch or had tea there'd be plenty more to do but with our strip budget it seems to be little sandwiches and like coffees every now and again. But we're enjoying it and we're making the most out of each beautiful little town. We're just heading out into the sticks a little bit. We're going to go to um, a place that's surrounded by nature, as they call it on, on uh, the Park for Night app, which is basically a parking spot with nothing around, essentially. It's a hiking car park, as far as we know. Hopefully there'll be some nice scenery to be seen, and we're going to set up camp, get cosy, and spend the night there, and then see what happens. We found a banging spot and we'll show you more of it tomorrow. All the autumn colours will be out and it's banging. But for now, it is tea time and this is our usual evening entertainment. Bit of Peaky Blinders on the laptop. <laughs> and a bit of a messy van, a bit of washing up to do later. But we'll spend most of the day here tomorrow, I think. Which, uh, it's Sunday, so that makes sense, really. And just soak in the scenery. Just in case you can't tell from our faces, we are up for the sunrise. Mm -mm. Trying to utilise the, uh, the good weather we're having. Um, so we're up just before 7 o'clock. Luckily the sunrise isn't that early at the moment because we are midway through October. But it's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. I wasn't quite up just before 7 o'clock. I rolled out a little bit later, but I'm up and that's all that counts. And we are so, so lucky with the weather yeah. today, yesterday and tomorrow. It's supposed to be amazing, so we are going to embrace the hell out of it before winter yeah. is upon us. But legs are still white, unfortunately, but uh, they're out. So this spot is amazing. We're going to stay here for a little longer, I think, but not uh, overstay our welcome. The only thing about this spot is that it's infested with uh, ladybird type things. Imposter ladybirds. Imposters, not even legit. They're not legit. Um, they are absolutely everywhere over the van. They're not too bad down here, which is kind of the reason why we decided to come and have lunch outside. But up by the van, they are everywhere and they're getting in through every crack and crevice. They say that they like the color light blue as well. We really like this rural spot, so we decided to stay for an extra night. We then hit the road to continue the route. The first stop in our second leg of the trip is... Donauwert. Donauwert. Do. Donauwert. Donauwert, okay. Donauwert. Donnerwerd is a colourful town with pastel painted buildings. Highlights were the Ria de Tor, vibrant Main Street, and the Pilgrimage Church. Donnerwerd is a town of historical significance. The Danube and the Vernitz join and converge. So it's a very small town and there isn't that much to do, especially on a Monday afternoon 
because most things are closed. Yeah, we hit it a bit wrong today, unfortunately. We had other things to attend to, mm. van related stuff. However, it's been nice to walk around. It's a very, very picturesque little place. One of the things we could have done if we would have arrived on a different date is climbed one of the church bell towers, which could have been pretty cool, but again, we didn't time it quite right. It seems as if we're uh, trying to climb all the towers in Europe as we go. Yeah, why not? For yeah. a couple of euros, it's amazing. In this town, we decided to park the van in a busy motorhome car park, but we decided to drive on to get closer to our next stop and stay somewhere a bit quieter. I've said it many times, I know. I would... So we've got to the camper stop. It's pretty nice. The sun is going down over the lake and it's glorious, but we are yet to find any showers. Well, mm, outdoor showers, I don't think really count. I've got it. The spot was a lot more picturesque than the car park we had left behind. We made ourselves comfy and had a good night's sleep. Good morning from our camp stop in Augsburg. Augsburg? Augsburg. Augsburg. I think that's right. Um, and today we're going to go into the city centre and uh, we're going to get the bikes off and go on a little adventure. The bikes are off and pumped. Are you? Yes. <laughs> this is going to end in pure disaster. I've ridden the bike much in a while, especially no handed. So, uh, what's the emergency number in Germany again? <laughs> So after a half an hour ride with a fair few wrong turns, we've made it into the city centre. We've parked the bikes and dropped a pin on Google Maps so we'll be able to retrieve them later on. We had a packed lunch prepared and had found a great place to eat it. A beach themed beer garden on the top of a multi-storey car park. Or so we thought. It looks like it's just a car park. Great views though. But I did research and it says that it's like open all year round. That's unfortunate. Right, let's find somewhere else for lunch then. Oh. We've, bought, we've got a packed lunch, I'm not going to go hungry. No. Not that, but but this was a beer garden where you can buy a drink but you can eat whatever you want there. You can order in, you can get like a delivery or bring your own stuff. But as long as you uh, bought beer or, or drinks there, it didn't matter. But now, you can bring any car you want and park it. <laughs> and we're on bikes today, typical. A little bit disappointed, we made our way to the Stad Mart. Here's a rare thing on the channel, me and Meg having a bit of alcohol and it's a toast to our insurers who uh, we just renewed with yesterday and we thought with Brexit and everything it could be potentially really awkward or expensive but luckily we've got all the benefits, 365 days in Europe and it's actually cheaper which we were just so shocked by and very happy to hear the news so uh, thank you insurance for making it easy on the road and we're bloody happy aren't we love? Oh we are. <laughs> So behind me you'll see the town hall and a tower that we intend to climb so let's go and see how much it is for the privilege. We're not having very much luck today, it is closed for renovations. Oh well. On to the next thing eh? We are now in Fugerai, which is one of the oldest social settlement estates. Over 200 impoverished Catholic people lived here, and it is now made into a museum. It was founded in 1516, and we were shocked to find out that it's still in use, not just a museum. Entrance costs around 4 euros. 
and here we have the Don Maria Heinzekum, the Cathedral of Augsburg. This was to be our substitute picnic spot. So that is us done in Augsburg, but I think there's plenty more to do that we didn't manage to see really. And if you came in the summer, there'd be all the things to do that we couldn't do today. Uh, we really like this city. We like the vibe that it gives off. Uh, it's been lovely in the sunshine today, and there's been plenty of places to eat and drink outside. Yay, we've made it back to the van and it's in one piece. Boop, boop. Uh, we've used the facilities here and now we are off to the next stop, which is Landberg am Lech. <laughs> it was just rolls off the tongue, Absolutely. didn't it? Absolutely. Um, we've got about a 50 minute drive ahead of us. Uh, it's going to be dark probably by the time we arrive, but it's only a car park, isn't it? It's not like a surrounded in nature lake, so... No, it's a boring old one. Not very romantic, but we're going to have date night in the van tonight. We're going to bring you along for it. I have got something in mind for a gorgeous tea. So, for tea tonight, we have had breaded shallow fried camembert, and it's going to splooge everywhere, and I'm very excited. Lovely homely meal in our car park. It's not very glamorous as we for toll, but uh, yeah, so we shall show you tomorrow. Well, I'm going to cut into it and we'll see how gooey it is. Find the recipe for the breaded camembert on our website, link down below. Join us next time for the final instalment of our romantic route road trip and witness the landscape change dramatically as we find ourselves at the foot of the Alps. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And press the bell button below to get notified each time we upload a video.